So now that I've introduced you to my little cytochrome P450 enzyme, we can talk about enzyme inhibition and enzyme induction. All right, so here's my metabolic machine again. Think of it like a garbage disposal. So when we take a drug, when we take a medication that causes enzyme inhibition, we're gonna end up with decreased cytochrome P450 enzymes. So it's gonna stop the cytochrome P450 enzymes from working. That means that we're gonna have more action of the drug. Remember, we're blocking the thing that breaks the drug down, so it makes sense we're gonna end up with more drug. So if we block the garbage disposal that breaks down the drug, we're gonna end up with more drug action, okay? There's all sorts of drugs out there that are enzyme inhibitors. Cimetidine, ketoconazole, erythromycin, ethanol, estradiol. There's all sorts of drugs out there that are cytochrome P450 enzyme inhibitors. So here is my drug that is an enzyme inhibitor. And notice that as the drug is processed by these enzymes, it's inhibiting the action of the enzymes. And so if we block the garbage disposal that breaks down the drug, what do we end up with? More drug, all right? So drugs that are enzyme inhibitors will have increased action over time because we're blocking the thing that's breaking them down. Some drugs are inducers of the cytochrome P450 system meaning they increase the amount of the cytochrome P450 enzymes. That means they, they cause the garbage disposal to work more. So when somebody takes a drug that's an enzyme inducer, they're gonna increase the metabolism of the drug. They're creating more garbage disposal sites for that drug. So the drug is gonna work less over time. There's gonna be less drug available. Even though you're staying at the same dose, there's just more and more enzymes breaking it down when you use an enzyme inducer. So enzyme induction results in increased metabolism of the drug and decreased pharmacologic action of the drug. Phenobarbital is definitely an enzyme inducer. So we'll use phenobarbital to treat and prevent seizures. And so somebody who's taking phenobarbital is going to undergo enzyme induction, meaning we're gonna have more enzymes available to metabolize the phenobarbital. So they might require more phenobarbital in the future because of induction. And we might have decreased action of other cytochrome P450 metabolized drugs because the phenobarbital has increased the level of metabolism. All right. All right, so there's my drug going through the cytochrome P450 system. Well, as the drug continues to be metabolized, it creates more and more and more and more and more enzymes available to break it down. So that's what drugs that are enzyme inducers do. Enzyme induction just results in more garbage disposals to break down the drug. So we don't end up with more drug, we end up with less.